everyone. My name is John. I'm 25, and I live in fear every day. <laughs> I wake up, I'm nervous. Because at 25, I've realized who will be inheriting the planet in a couple of years. It's me <laughs> and my generation. And anyone in the crowd tonight or watching this at home, you need to be very concerned by that notion because you will be our food. <laughs> previous generations had every advantage. The way a previous generation wooed a lady. Oh, so romantic. Sitting by a creek and composing a poem about a single lock of their hair. What does my generation do? We troll Facebook looking for a friend of a friend we'd like to date. And we take that comely lass out to a Denny's or something. Sit there at the table just wishing she doesn't open her mouth and prove herself to be crazy. <laughs> it starts normal, something like, well, I don't know about you, but I love dogs. I just love dogs. They're great. I love dogs. And I like to be honest, ladies. So I respond with something like, well, I don't love dogs, but I like dogs very much. And then she says, what? <laughs> You don't love dogs? Everybody loves dogs. Even Hitler loved dogs. <laughs> to which I simply reply, well, I really love Jews, so I think I'm better than Hitler. <laughs> Marriage was something for other generations. Other generations, marriage was something that was earned through love and respect and communication and eventual resentment. <laughs> for my generation, marriage is something that is feared. And that is because of the older generations. You're not making that look like a lot of fun. <laughs> and I think this is all based on some misfortunate advice that newlyweds are given. They say, oh, get ready for your wedding day. Your wedding day, that's going to be the happiest day of your life. <laughs> because no one who is an expert on happiness has ever said that the day you get married is the happiest day of your life. I'm an expert on happiness. I've had some joyous experiences in my time on this earth as a Canadian comedian. I have told jokes in every legion and bingo hall this country <laughs> has to offer. I've been to Sudbury, Ontario 11 times, and when you see a woman eat an apple and she has no teeth, well, that changes you inside. <laughs> I have some news for you, Winnipeg. I think today is the happiest day of my life. I had an amazing journey on my way to the theater tonight. I was on a beautiful city of Winnipeg bus. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my seat was freshly cleaned. How do I know? It was sticky and covered with what I assume is soap. It was lovely. <laughs> and as I'm sitting there, what do I spy in the seat right next to me but a $5 bill? Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Driver. Ride's almost free. Popped it right in my pocket. And then, from the back of the bus, a homeless man stood up and farted. <laughs> so loud, it knocked over a child. <laughs> Seeing my girlfriend walk up the aisle of a church will never make me that happy. <laughs> Not in a million years. Thank you very much, Winnipeg.